The Amazon Alexa voice service is built into the TCL Access, so you can easily get a rundown on the latest news and sports scores or ask a variety of questions. You can also control lights, switches, thermostats, and more on compatible devices. In this episode, we'll review some of our favorite Alexa features and show you how to take control of your home. You can access the Alexa voice service from anywhere on the TCL Access. All you have to do is say Alexa out loud and she will begin listening for a command or question. Alexa can help you find local businesses and restaurants, get updates on the weather, hear the news, keep up with your favorite sports teams, or track important tasks or purchases. You can ask a number of questions like, Alexa, what is the capital of Spain? Spain's capital city is Madrid. Alexa, how many ounces are in a cup? One cup equals eight fluid ounces. Or, Alexa, how tall is Mount Everest? Mount Everest's height is 29,029 feet, 8,848 meters. There is also an application called Amazon Alexa that works in conjunction with the Alexa voice service. However, you will need to download this from the Play Store first. Let's do that now. Open the app tray, select Play Store, and search Amazon Alexa. Install and open this application. Click Accept and open. Now any search results, questions, or commands are broken down into categories for you to view. Even though Alexa will respond via voice, it's often helpful to see the actual results. To access the Amazon Alexa app from the Access Launcher after it's been installed, click the tab on the lower left corner of the screen and scroll through until you see the Amazon Alexa app. Then, just tap on it. Let's walk through checking the news and weather. First, I'll say, Alexa. Then, I will say, show me the weather. Then, I can just listen to Alexa's response as she will tell me what to expect for weather based off my geolocation. Currently, in Irvine it's 64 degrees with mostly sunny skies. Today, you can expect lots of sun, with a high of 67 degrees and a low of 46 degrees. The same process will go for asking about the news. I'll say, Alexa, out loud, then I will say, what's the news? Then I will be connected to the latest NPR hourly news station to listen to. Here's your flash briefing in NPR News from TuneIn. Live from NPR News in Washington, I'm Jack Spear. Now let's discuss how to control items in your home, like the lighting, using the Alexa voice service. For this example, we've made an additional purchase of the Philips Hue LED Starter Kit, which will enable us to control the lighting in our own home. Let's set it up. Screw in the two special Philips light bulbs into two lights you wish to control around the house. Go ahead and turn the lamp switches on once they're in. Next, use the power cable provided to plug in the Philips hub into a power source near your Wi-Fi router and use the ethernet cable in the box for a hard line connection to one of your router outputs. From the TCL Access, open the app tray and select the Play Store. In the search taskbar at the top of the screen, type in Philips Hue. Choose the Philips Hue Gen 1 application. Click Install, then tap Accept. Once the Philips Hue application has downloaded, click Open. After you open the app, it will ask you to slide to start. Place your finger on the screen and swipe to the right. Then tap on the right side of the screen and continue to swipe to the right until you have walked through the quick start guide. Tap Start. Next, click the search icon in the center of the screen. The app will begin looking for the Philips Hue Bridge and will instruct you to press and hold the button on the Hue Bridge while it does so. It will indicate when the Philips Bridge has been found. Click the back arrow in the upper left corner of the screen once paired. You can now begin controlling the two lights. Use the menu button, which looks like three parallel lines, to navigate the control options. First, select lights from the list and you can see how to dim or brighten each of the two bulbs individually to your own preference. The app has six preloaded scenes which control synchronized lighting moods like Fulbright, Read, Twilight, Rise and Shine, as well as Off. To set an alarm or timer for your lights, click the menu button again and select Alarms and Timers. Just use the plus sign in the upper right corner of the screen and choose which you'd like to set up. Finally, choose Settings from the list and then click on My Lights. Rename the lights so that they read Light 1 and Light 2. This will help Alexa identify each light bulb in the upcoming steps. If you'd like to use Alexa to control your lights via voice, 
follow these steps. First, open the Amazon Alexa app. Click Skills. Search Philips Hue. Tap on the Philips Hue app from the list of options. Click Enable in the upper right corner of the screen. Select Create an Account on the screen as you will need to set up a username and password. Choose Yes when the device requests that you trust the application. Once Alexa has successfully synced, return to the Amazon Alexa app and click on Smart Home from the menu on the left. Now click Discover Devices. The app will begin looking for the Philips Hue Bridge. Once it's recognized, you will see the two lights you set up in the Philips Hue app listed under your devices, Light 1 and Light 2, as well as all Hue lights. You can begin using the command, Alexa, turn on or off Light 1, Okay. or Alexa, turn on or off Light 2. Okay. The Philips Hue LED Starter Kit is just one example of how you can take control of your home and make the TCL Access the hub of it all. To see a full list of Alexa-compatible devices, visit the Amazon website and search Alexa Home and look for any devices that list works with Amazon Alexa. If you want to save a few bucks, you can also look into one of these TP-Link smart Wi-Fi plugs. Or if you want to invest a little more, pick up a Nest thermostat. Both are great options and require similar setups as the Philips Hue lights. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos from TCL.